Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal are close friends, but that wasn't always the case. The pair are certainly considered two of the greatest players to ever pick up a racket, and their on-court rivalry was the longest and best of the Open era. It all began nearly two decades after the legendary duo became close within a few years of each other in the mid-2000s. Before one of their first meetings, Djokovic said he felt uncomfortable with Nadal after the Spaniard performed a pre-match ritual a few meters away from him. I'm playing against Nadal at Roland Garros, and his dressing area is next to mine, right, so we are so close, we try to give each other space. But then the dressing room isn't that big either. And the way you jump around, like Nadal before we go out on the court. In the dressing room, he's doing sprints next to you. I can even hear the music he's listening to, you know, in his headphones. You know, that annoys me, he said. The 24-time Grand Slam champion admitted he allowed similar things to happen to him when he was younger, but quickly learned to block out these mind games and sometimes use them to his advantage. At the beginning of my career, I didn't realize how it was all part of the script, right, so I was afraid of that, he said. But it also motivates me to do things myself and show that I'm ready, you know, I'm ready for battle, for war. Djokovic who is 37 years old and Nadal who is 38 years old, face off in the second round of the Paris Olympics on July the 29th, in what will be their 60th and possibly final meeting. Novak Djokovic has a slight advantage over his Spanish rival, although a win for Nadal fittingly enough, would take each player's win tally to 30. Before confirming the confrontation between them, Djokovic promised that the match will be exciting. He said we will spray fireworks on the court, just like in the old days. I hope we meet, because this will probably be the last dance for both of us. However, Nadal is keen to refute rumours that this will be his last match. A reporter asked who said this was the last dance. Unsurprisingly, he also engaged in some pre-match mind games, after insisting that Djokovic was the favourite to win the match. Situations are completely different for him, for me. He's being very competitive. I was not being very competitive for the last two years, so in that case, I think probably he is the clear favourite, Nadal said. I'm going to try my best to bring the best to the court, and then let's see how far I can go and how many problems I can create for him. In addition to the precautions that must be taken, the playing surface is suitable for Nadal, who has an 8-2 record against Djokovic on clay. However, Djokovic is in good shape at Roland Garros, where the Serbian has won the Roland Garros title twice in the last four years. The two have faced each other once at the Olympics. Nadal beat Djokovic in the semi-finals of the 2008 Beijing Games, before defeating Fernando Gonzalez in the final. Meanwhile, Djokovic has never won an Olympic gold medal. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.